Receivers out. He's going to hand it off to Clark. Clark busting to the 35. Breaks to the 30. Cuts inside to the 20. To the 15. Carrying tacklers down to the 5. Andre Clark busting his way into the Krispy Kreme red zone. Eagle fans, the hot light is on as the Eagles are in the Krispy Kreme red zone. Bunch set on each side. Here's a draw hand off to Clark. Clark busting for it again. And he's in. Touchdown, North Carolina Central. Yeah, Andre Clark scores the first offensive touchdown of the season, and that one was all effort. He was hit in the backfield, and he broke through a tackle, and then he takes the defense for a $5 cab ride into the end zone. Again, here's another handoff to him straight up the middle. There's a flag on the play. Fumble picked up by C.J. Moore, breaking tackles to the 30, to the 20. Can he get in? No, he's tackled at the 10 from behind. Antonio Huff, and the Eagles will start this drive if everything happens correctly in the Krispy Kreme red zone. And welcome back to O'Kelly Riddick Stadium. Here's the handoff to Clark, busting out of tackles, pushing forward, and he gets in again. Andre Clark spinning into the end zone off the right side out of the timeout. His second touchdown of the day. Looking like Joe Simmons back there in his career as Clark with his second touchdown of the afternoon. I like the call on that play. I was wondering why they didn't come out and just give him the ball on first down and let, let him build on the momentum that he already had. From right to left. High snap. Going to be pressured. Josh Wade almost had him. He's going to be pressured out. Can't be brought down, but he was tripped. As Jaquan Smith, the redshirt freshman, stuck a ball out and brought him down for the sack. Way back all the way at the 15, and here comes the punting unit. Here's another hand off to right. He's got a hold of the 40 to the 35, 30. Breaking to the 25, to the 20. Busting forward inside the Krispy Kreme red zone to the 12-yard line. That's got to be the longest run in the career of Deontay Wright. Philippine back to throw, dumps it off to right on the 20, trying to break a tackle to the 15, gets to the 10, diving forward inside the 10 to get him all the way to the 7-yard line. I like what I'm seeing from Deontay right in this offense. Yeah, he's starting to find a little rhythm, and we, you know, we've seen him get bottled up a lot in the games, but uh, he's one of those kids that is electric, and we've seen him make some big plays in practice. Here's the handoff to Clark. Clark will get his third touchdown of the day. If he falls forward, he does. The Brahma Bull. A fantasy football beast here today. His third touchdown as he sneaks that one in from five yards out. And the Eagles lead it 20 to nothing here in the second quarter with 13.05 to go. And I tell you what, you're starting to see a team start to gain some confidence here today. Yeah, nothing like a three-touchdown game, too, you know, for a guy that's running hard. And, uh, you know, he's putting up some respectable numbers out there. off to Boone. Boone stopped at the line. He is popped. Felix Small brings the wood on that one. Yeah, Felix Small <laughs> slid off and just lowered the boom on P.D. Boone. McLaren's kickoff. Take it by Antonio Hall. So, Here's Halton. Play action pass on the first play. Ty Brown brings him down as he came around the end. Ty Brown with his first sack of the season. and That's exactly why they put him in that position. Yeah, he did a good job of coming off the edge that time, and he did a, a squeeze in. It's funny, I was just having a conversation about him in the other room at the half talking about how he's been really close and how he, you know, he's just about to turn the corner. And sure enough, we see it progress right here in this half. There's a snap. 
A little bit off to the right. Here's a wobbly punt that'll be caught by Michael Jones at the 35. Got tripped up, but he kept himself up as he gets to the outside. To the 40, Woo! to the 50. Nice blocking. Gets him to the 40. Breaks inside the numbers to the 35. Trying to stay alive at the 30 where he's finally slung down. And there was all sorts of knocking going down. And the Eagles, Sai Muhammad getting congratulated on the sideline. Joe Simmons out of his seat. And deservedly so. Zahi Muhammad came back and rolled back and gave a powerful blow, blowing his man up. And if Mike Jones just makes a cut to the outside instead of the inside, he's going to the house. Quinn Billiman back to throw. Down to the right side. Caught by Hasek at the 40. To the 30. To the 20. Can give him six. Anas Hasek gets into the end zone for the first time as an eagle. 33 to 7. North Carolina Central with the touchdown. And that's the speed I was talking about, how dangerous he is in the open field. And you watch him when he makes that catch. He accelerates and he starts to separate. He runs people out of their form. Putting the foot on the throttle. Here's Huffton, and he's going to be absolutely pasted. Oh, my goodness. Laid out. His helmet falls off as the big man, Antonio Brown, a red shirt freshman from Jacksonville, Florida, decapitates Huffton, and it'll be fourth down. Here comes the punting unit. And that's what you want to see. If you're the defensive line coach right now, you're going to show every single kid this effort, how he got off this block and was able to get and make the tackle. For the first time in the Jerry Mack era, the Eagles are victorious as the clock winds down to one. The final buzzer will sound. And the final score here in tonight's home opener for NCCU on the happy side, 34-7. The Eagles win it as the fans will leave happy. And the Eagles move to 1-1 one one on the year. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.